If you own a pair of third generation AirPods, these things, they need some love. And so in today's video, by that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the accessory that you should definitely consider picking up on Amazon for the third generation AirPods to really get the most out of these devices. So let's go ahead and begin. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on Amazon right now, live on video. And just quickly type in third generation cases because let's be real we want to preserve our airpods and the most common issues is scratches and marks and stuff that we could experience and make these things look really aged and bad so already i'm really quite intrigued by these little unique cases right here yes they add a little bit of bulk on your airpods but if you find yourself in a lot of public situations like in class or you have your airpods like on a flat table at a starbucks the likelihood of people stealing these thinking that their AirPods are unlikely because it could be just an oversized keychain you may just have attached to your backpack or attached to your car keys or whatever. These are a great disguiser so I'm going to go ahead and pick this three pack and if you do want something that was protection but it's slim and minimal you can't go wrong with any of these like slim cases you see right here they offer great shock absorbent protection. They're scratch resistant just if you prefer putting it in or taking it out of your pocket you may want to look for something that's not silicone so it's an easy slide in and slide out so this hard shell is probably going to be my personal pick and i'm going to go ahead and get it in smoke black add both of these to cart and here they are so quick note i switched it to the clear one because the gray one was going to take a lot longer to arrive so we got the clear one instead but same product from the same manufacturer but I want to go ahead and take a look at these oversized keychain disguises. So carabiners are obviously included. I suppose of them fell out. They do have this quick release tool. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the Gatorade one. Simply just slides into place like so. And that's basically it. Easy access to your charge port. Although it's going to be hard and challenging to wireless charge these. And of course they do provide the tool necessary to re quickly remove the AirPod case. And I assume the carabiner just simply goes on like so. Really durable silicone. It's not going to easily tear. Not bad. And of course we got the bubble gum. And, and of course we got Tuckus. I still think my personal favorite one is this fat Gatorade bottle. Not bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at the clear one. So this one is the hard plastic one. And the pros to this one is not only does it offer 360 protection. You really don't need that removal tool to get it off the case, by the way. But it offers full 360 protection. It's slim, it's minimum. It has a cool hook right here. But if you use your AirPods a lot and you place them in your pocket a lot, unlike the grippy silicone one, these are super convenient to slide in and out of your pocket and will deliver the same amount of protection. Just like that. And will definitely prevent your AirPods from taking scratch marks and getting dirty over time. Not bad. Highly recommend at least picking up a case. But these ones are really cool due to the fact that you could disguise them. Now when it comes to maintenance, there's not really not a lot of maintenance involved for the AirPods third generation. You really have to worry about this grill. And so I do recommend at least cleaning these things up monthly, at least once a month, depends how sweaty your ear canals can get, to really continue to have the best audio quality experience. And because of that, and this is where this accessory comes into play. It's a 12 pack, so if you use it once a month, it could last an entire year. And you can save a lot if you go with a 24 pack as well. So this is a pretty unique product due to the fact it looks like a magic eraser. You just like push it in there and it absorbs everything. Kind of gross, but it looks like it's an excellent device because you don't have to get your hands all messy. So we're going to go ahead and add this to cart and see if it's any good. Here it is. So this video had to be re-uploaded because this product was taking forever to arrive, but it's finally here. So we finally get to actually test this out and see how well these earbud cleaner putty things actually do behave. And the cool thing is, a couple days ago, I have been using these AirPods at the gym, so they're definitely dirty. So we will definitely find out how good this product actually works. And to be honest, uh, first impression, if you're familiar with plumber putty, this almost feels like exactly that. So you might be able just to get plumber putty and just use that instead of buying one of these sheets for like 10 bucks. So the concept to this, how it, the way it works is that you literally just jam it in the grill and peel off. I hope this isn't gross. Cautious is maybe gross. Yep. It definitely picked up some uh, yellow stuff right there on the outline. Huh. It's not, it's actually doing a really good job. This is much better in my opinion than those like cleaning pens that they sell on Amazon. Oh, wow. It actually works surprisingly well. There is a part right here that's brown, but I could always just jam it in there. 
You know, you should pick it up. Yeah, they picked it up. Oh, wow. And the cool thing is, you don't have to deal with the ye yellow yuckiness earwax color because this thing absorbs it pretty well. It actually cleaned it really well. Not bad at all. Now, I have to be real with you guys. The AirPods, they're no AirPods Pro. So they might, in certain situations, you might want to actually consider buying a way or an accessory that actually allow these things to not easily fall out of your ear or having to readjust them ever so often, especially while you're working out. So sometimes these silicone ones could actually help. But I found these other ones as well come in a variety of different colors, but not really the perfect reviews. But then I found this interesting thing. It looked like it uses grip pads. They're super thin. So the pro to this is that you can still put them back in the case without having to remove like this hook as a fine example. With these hooks, you're gonna have to take it out of the case to actually place them back in the case and allow them to properly charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually add this adhesive sticky thing to cart. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in there as well. Now this clearly will not fit inside the case even though it's right here. But I have found this and I'm curious if this will actually fit in the case because there's no comment about this. Although the reviews are very questionable but who knows maybe we found a gem. So I'm going to go ahead and add the blue one to cart. So here is all three of them. So the first one I want to go ahead and test out is the silica one. See if there's any like grip strength added by adding these like outer shell ones. So I'm going to go ahead and take one out and uh, wear it for an hour and see how it goes. So my other thoughts about these, they're pretty cool to the most part since they actually will change the look of your AirPods entirely. And I like the fact that they're actually labeled left and right, which isn't bad. But for my ear canal, this does add some tightness. But in terms of improving its strain to stay on, feels similar to like as if it wasn't even wearing these. So they're all right, but they're not going to be grippy at all. Now let's go ahead and try out these other ones, but they actually have like a wing. They actually should connect to the, the groovings on your ears. So install these should be exact same process. They are also labeled right and left. So I'm going to go ahead and install these and give you my feedback in just a moment. Oh, and uh, yes, you can place them in your case and they'll still charge with the silicone one. And here they are, and these are honestly really cool. They do actually like get wedged in their ear, so this does indeed add some support. But in terms of place, placing them back in the case, uh, you are required to take them out and remove them, unfortunately, in order for the earbuds to properly charge. But in installing them, it's not too difficult, as you simply just do this and just wraps onto place just like so. And the opening on the sensors are perfect. There's no interference in terms of the auto ear detection. So not bad, it just sucks that you have to remove them whenever you charge them, as I previously mentioned. But these are the ones I'm really excited to try out. So, it uses like micro suction cups, and that's how they're able to accomplish this. They do provide a lot of them, and they do give you a little guide how to place them. So, with rubbing alcohol, you clean them up, and then you place it on the AirPods. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and properly install it and give you my honest feedback. So here they are. These are cool. Just unfortunately, they don't work as like a gecko typically does. I even watched their video right here. Upon installing it, it was really easy to install these. And when you're wearing them, they're pretty comfortable. Just it doesn't have the sticky like suction cup effect that we were advertised it would do. This is basically how it looks like when you unpeel it. And he's up right here, correct? And it has like this gray filter right here. And it looks like, I don't know if the camera could pick that up, but it's like cut right there in the middle so you can actually peel that off. But I tried doing that. I damaged one. And it's physically impossible to reveal the section without it just ripping. See? See? It's ruined. Already it's already ruined. And in addition to that, in this video guide that they actually gave us, give us a QR code to reference, they have no mention of them removing that gray film. So this basically, as you see right here, is how they advertise you should put them on. Now, yes, it is cool that you can actually put them on inside the AirPod case still and allow it to charge, just like the silicone ones that just fell. And yes, I actually do find these more comfortable than these, and they deliver very similar effects. So although they don't offer the suction cup ability that I was expected, these are still not bad, although for the best performance, I will still recommend these hook design ones. And this one wasn't that bad. So in first place, I'll give it a this. Second place, I'll give it a this due to its comfort. And third place, I'll give it a this. Now you may have noticed my AirPods third generations do not have dust cards as of yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them 
right now to cart i'm gonna go with rose gold so that is now added and here's the dust cards let's go ahead and install this now cool th thing about dust cards is again the benefit of dust cards is basically it will protect this portion of your airpods from getting scratches and stuff with like dirt dust debris other particles that like collect typically right here and when it magnetically shut it basically will create scratch marks dust cards is said to eliminate that and i had dust cards on my other pods for like the longest time these things actually do work as advertised they'll preserve your airpods for making them look fresh and i have gone with knockoffs but out of all the dust cards i've tested lagos is the only ones that i had good experience with because it's not a thin sheet of aluminum it's actually pretty thick so it's not easy to tear and installation is fairly easy especially since they give you a whole guide right here so i gotta do this off camera because it does require a lot of patience to properly install it so if you have patience you can install this so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and just like that they're installed just make sure you use the guidance sticker and it's a really easy installation then airpods even with the uh third party accessory it's on goes in and charges just fine no interference whatsoever although it does slow it down from doing that satisfying click but that's probably due to the fact we have these things on. See, not bad. Again, these protect your AirPods, helping them stay mint. So if you do decide on selling them, you can just peel that off and it should look 100% new again. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> oh man, this is actually pretty funny. Uh, I guess it's considered to be an accessory, but will this actually be a oh, five piece for $22? No, thank you. I'll get the black one. Yeah, since it's Christmas, tis the season. I'm gonna get the black Christmas one. All right, this is unusual. I know it's weird, but it's a cat that holds magnetically will hold your AirPods. So if you have a workstation or something like that, you like to be cute. I mean, you could put that there. So because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and add this cart. And before we actually look at the product, let me know in the comment section if you wish me to do like a wacky accessories video series on some wacky accessories you can purchase on some products like AirPods, Apple Watches, and etc. Let me know in the comment section if you're down for that. And here is that lovely cat that comes in. A uh, quite interesting package. But here's our cat. And they provide different Christmas things to decorate our cat. Including the hat and the Christmas tree and the sugar cane. Which I think is kind of cute. So even though it has this, if you get the Christmas special one, you can still rock this, making it look like it's out of the ordinary. But the cat is holding like, some type of magnets on its paw. And if my theory is correct, you simply just, well that didn't work. You simply place the AirPods somewhere over here. Oh, I got it. Damn, it's hard with the tripod in the way. You simply just rest the AirPods right here and the cat will actually hold them. It does require some balance. I think it's because we have this attached to it. I'm gonna remove it just for this video. Oh, there we go. So we are going to be required to remove this to make them stick on stronger. But yeah, the cat does balance it on his paw. It's hard to do while holding on the camera, but this is how it looks like on a flat surface. It's pretty cute. And of course, you could put the Santa hat on just like this. That's not bad. And the final accessory is one I already own, but I highly recommend is a MagSafe charger because the third generation AirPods actually support MagSafe. And if you have like a flat surface canvas where you find yourself working once more like a desk, it's super convenient to just rest this and let it charge and if you need to charge your phone no need to actually buy another one you could just drop it in so long as it supports magsafe it will instantly start charging and if you don't have a magsafe supported iphone so long as it has a wireless charging capability if you can line it up it will actually allow it to actually charge wirelessly including a non-apple device aside from that there you guys have it those are some funny and cool useful accessories that you should definitely check out for your airpods third generation if you'd like to know where you go ahead and find them, they'll all be linked in the middle description down below. So they're all literally a click away. Aside from that, I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. If you want to watch more, highly recommend checking out this video over here where we go through the must-have accessories for the AirPods Pro. Some of them can also be found for the third generation AirPods that we just featured. And then that video over there, that is just a video YouTube's recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.